Wyatt Woods, Garrett Lester, state championship game coming up. How's that feel? Yeah, it feels really good. <laughs> I've never not done before in school history, so it's really something special for us, especially as all of us seniors growing up. We all knew that we could do this if we just put in the work and time, and here we are. It feels amazing. I mean, the whole town is here. I mean, it's awesome. I mean, everyone deserved this. The whole town deserved it, so it feels good to bring it home. It wasn't easy. I mean, <laughs> talk to me about the last, you know, five to ten minutes of this one. It I was mean, a war. It looked like a war from up there. We, we were driving a little bit, then, of course, I had to make it interesting. And <laughs> I turned it over on on that play down here, and I just felt so bad because I keep putting the defense in those tough tough predicaments. And But I, I talked to Kill Mill, and he says he likes his back against the wall. So <laughs> I guess they kind of like the pressure, so they play well under it. So uh, I was just stressing. But defense again came in clutch, so it just feels amazing. I mean, you said it perfect. I mean, we're always, we always like to have some, a little bit of pressure on us. Miles Lozano, Carter Nation, how does this feel? I mean, it feels great. All right, Evan Buchanan, Miles Lozano, what are you feeling? I'm feeling awesome right now, I can't lie. Uh, fantastic, <laughs> feels great, making history. Talk to me just about your day. Uh, from the moment you woke up through getting here, what was this day like for you guys? The nerves are obviously high. I mean, as expected. It's a big game. We've never been in this position before. But if you just come in the mindset of just another football game, you just relax, you play football, you're fine, you know? And that's what I think we did. We just played like we always have, and we weathered the ups and downs. I think we did great. Yeah, I, it felt a little weird not having school all week, but just wake up. It's another football game. Obviously nervous, but just come out here, just another team on the schedule, another person to get there. Talk first about the defense, Evan. You yeah. had to make the stop, and yeah, and, uh, that, obviously that was a big stop. When we saw the turnover, we obviously we get a little worried, but I mean we've been in a position before. It's not something new to us. Um, we just tell them relax, play football, and that's what we did. I mean, eventually we capitalized on one of their mistakes, and I think that's what and ultimately helped us win the game. And then Miles, you just needed a first down to run out the clock after you got it back. What's what's the offense no, thinking at that point? Just leave it all on the field. There's nothing left. Just Every, everything you got, every single play to get that first down. It's all that matters in the moment, and that's what happened. You had a you had a penalty where you jumped. Yeah. I'm supposed to ask you about that. Uh, it was really loud, and <laughs> there's some calls going around, and yeah, I just win. It's on me. <laughs> I, it was almost really bad, but thankfully we got it how, done. How loud was it down there? It was yeah. insanely it was loud. loud. You yeah. couldn't hear anything. It was, it was the insane. wind, that's the crowd. Everything. I it's think I part. saw Wyatt actually do this <laughs> on the last yeah. possession. Yeah. The quiet Definitely down. the loudest game I've probably been a part of or ever played in. For sure. Appreciate the crowd coming out. All right. Well, congratulations. Go enjoy it. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, the defense got it done again. Uh, so, Caden White, Caleb Norman, and Caleb, I'm going to talk to you first because you had biggest, that might be the biggest defensive play in the history of Republic football. Caleb. Yeah. Talk to me about that interception. Well, they ran the play in the first quarter, and the kid got away from me and, you know, ran for about a 30-yard gain. So I knew they were needing a big play there, and that play's been good for them all year. So figured they'd come out with a fake counter boot pass, and they did, and Kendall was able to get to the quarterback and get the ball out of his hands, and I just happened to be there to make the play. Were you surprised he threw it? Yeah, I really was. <laughs> I thought he was going down. Caden, talk to me about that, Sorry. just in general, that last defensive stand. You had to do it. Three yes, times sir. in a row now. It was, it was. We had to dig deep. It was a grind, and ah, uh, it was great. <laughs> we did, it feels amazing. But it was definitely a grind. We worked the whole season for that, and everybody did their job. We came through, especially this guy right here. Yeah. <laughs> Just tell me about the atmosphere in the stadium down here on the field. It feels amazing. It, I don't really know what to feel right now. It's, it's something different. I've never felt it before. It's incredible. We've got the whole town behind us. You know, everybody comes out and supports and. You know, it's, it's great to see everybody coming out and supporting the team. You ready to go to Columbia? Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Two members of the offensive line join us, and uh, just tell me first what you're feeling. Uh, I don't really know what I'm feeling, but it's great. <laughs> I'm, yeah, it's, it's good to be a part of a good win. Yeah. It's, it's I don't know. It's, it's crazy. I, it still hasn't sunk in yet. It's, yeah. Carter, you've been out there most snaps all year, so uh, you've you've got kind of a different situation. You've just really started rotating in. Yeah. Tell me what's the what was the thought? What did the coach tell you when when they started rotating you in? Uh, just that 
I had something to offer to the offense and that I just had a job and I just needed to execute like the rest of them. I mean, you know, six weeks ago, you, you weren't getting out there nearly as often. So what would you have told, what would you have thought if somebody had said, hey, you know, you're going to be in the, you're going to play a major role in the state semifinal against Webb City? Yeah, just focus on what my job is and go to practice every week and just focus on executing that plan. That's about it. Carter, you were able to move the ball. The, the turnover there uh, gave them the ball back. I asked a couple of the other guys, what was it like? You're on the sideline and you know they can score. What's it like watching that? I mean, it's a lot of a lot of angst, a lot of nervousness and just being anxious. But like at the same time, you know, I trust our defense to, you know, get a stop for us again and, you know, let, give us the opportunity to get the ball back and, you know, go do our thing. All right. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Mason Mitchell, Cade White, you are going to the Show Me Bowl. How does that feel? Feels like a dream. Feels like uh, we finally achieved what we needed to, but we got one more game and we got to get it done. This, is, this was the end goal, so, I mean, go to state, can't really ask for much more. What was this game like? What was the day like from the time you got up? Walk me through what your day has been like. Um, got up. It kind of felt like a normal day. Uh, I just kind of felt like uh, last time. But, you know, once we walked into the facility, got into the locker room, the nerves started hitting, and we knew it was about game time. Yeah, I mean, I was nervous all day. I mean, it's Web City. Of course, you want to beat them. I mean, they're kind of like our so-called rivals as of the last two years. And so I think I think this helps the season go on. <laughs> What's it like watching Watching them drive, knowing if they score even a field goal, they could take the lead. What was that like? Uh, you know, obviously it's nerve-wracking, but, you know, we, we trust on our defense. They've come out with a ton of great stops, huge stops in these last couple games, and they've been great in the second half of the game for sure. Yeah, I mean, you have to have, you have, to have a lot of faith in them. They've been a second-half defense uh, playoffs-wise, so, I mean, I, we were pretty comfortable. All right, congratulations, guys. Thank you. Ryan Cornelson, how does this feel? It's it's a true blessing. The good Lord has blessed us, and uh, you know, with a great group of kids that are, that were willing to work uh, for three years and, and put in the time and the effort, uh, and, and I'm very thankful for it. How do you keep them and, and yourself on an even keel in a game like this that has so many ups and downs? You know, one, I mean, experience. I've been doing it a while, so I've I've. I've been in some games that were big, and, and you just try to keep your composure. Uh, and usually if you keep your composure, your kids will keep theirs. And, and I, I felt like today we did a great job of that. I mean, we had there were several times we could have we could have folded and, and could have, you know, given in. And, and uh, we just kept fighting. We kept trying to make plays and made just enough to, to come out with a win. How big was that defensive stand again? Right. It, it was huge. And, and uh, you know, Norman's one of our savviest kids and, and always in the right place. And he couldn't have been in the right place any better time than, than there for the interception there at the end. So that was awesome. Tell me about the atmosphere, what it's like to coach in an atmosphere like this. Man, it's it's awesome. I, and I've been, you know, several places and, and played in, in state championships and big games. And, and, and this is by far the best I've seen. Like, I've never been involved with anything that was, was that uh, exciting to play. You know, it, any play that was big for us, it erupted, and, and it was it was awesome to be a part of. And uh, you know, last week, and then even more this week, and, and uh, what a great experience for our kids. You know, I, I told them during practice that they've definitely lit a spark in the community. If they win this one, it'll be a flame. And so uh, they they've done that and, and created a, a buzz around town. And, and our our community is doing a great job of supporting our young people. Uh, and I couldn't be any prouder to be a part of it. Have you thought about uh, Have you thought about next week yet? Uh, I, I haven't. I know we've got some, some Zoom meetings with Mission, stuff like that, uh, on Sunday. So uh, I'll, I'll probably start film tonight and, and uh, wake up early and get, get a plan going. All right. Congratulations. Thanks, on sir. This one. I appreciate it. Last question for two and a half, three years, we've been watching you put a man in motion, call a timeout. Everybody in the area, everybody in the state knows that a timeout's coming. Don't jump offside. Today you sent the guy in motion. You ran the play. Talk to me about talk to me about that decision. Yeah, I mean, there's a good story behind it. One, we we I don't when when I go to defense, they work that that they work all our two our, uh, short yardage. You know, the the reverse pass you saw early in the year gets Nixon. They work that, and so uh, when we ran it the first time, it was wide open, but we didn't call it. So the kids were like quiz, quiz. What's what we call it? Quiz, quiz. So I said next time we'll call, we'll call quiz. Uh, but at first I said we haven't worked it all week. And they're like, coach, we work it every day i'm like because i'm not i'm not there during that period so kind of like the reverse pass uh 
sure, sure enough, we got another opportunity to call Frozen. We called Quiz. Uh, Wyatt snapped it, and it was wide open. Just you know, maybe we just saved it for the right time. I guess. Yeah, I mean, the defense was was so worried about jumping, they just kind of <laughs> yeah. stood still while yeah. the thing happened. Yeah, everybody always asks why why we don't run a playoff there. So maybe we just saved it for the the right time. <laughs> All right, congratulations. Thank you.